So just what are narcissistic people attracted to? It's more often than not the common term of phrase is you attract who you are. And when this comes to narcissistic people, this isn't necessarily true. As a narcissistic person is simply attracted to supply. Whoever or whatever can supply the narcissist with whatever that narcissist is requiring at that moment in time. However, the narcissist will mirror you. They will copy you like for like. They will future fake with you. They will sell you an illusion that they want the very same things as you. So that you romanticise about the life that you could potentially have with that person, which gives you a strong desire to go all out to make it work with that person because you you believe, you are led to believe by them that you have met your perfect match. So you feel like you've attracted who you are. Only when you end the relationship, you realise that you've turned into somebody who you don't like because they've emotionally manipulated you to the point where you no longer know whether you're coming and going coming or going. So when it comes to a narcissistic person, they can be attracted to people with a home just because the narcissist is envious of that home or wants a roof over their head. They can be attracted to somebody who has a family unit because that narcissist doesn't have a family unit. They're envious of that other person's family unit. So they go all out to break down that family unit by taking one of the people away from it and having that person for themselves and they get a delight out of this they don't realize that if they've managed to break down the family the person they've ended up with is not somebody that you really want to be with narcissistic people tend to go for agreeable people because they don't like people having a difference of opinion to themselves. It's easier for them to manipulate agreeable people. However, not all narcissistic people are like this. Some narcissistic people enjoy a challenge. So they will go for a disagreeable person so that they can take the challenge on and gain control over that person. They go for happy people. They're envious of other people's happiness. So they go all for it, all out to get it, believing that person might cure them and make them happy. And when they realise that that person is human and isn't happy all the time, or the narcissist isn't happy, they go all out to take that happiness away from the other person. They can go all out for confident people. And as a narcissist is arrogant, they're going to go all out to tear the confidence away from that person. Usually, the very thing that they are attracted to, they can potentially be envious of and believe that somebody else might come along and steal that that they were attracted to. So then they, they take it away from the person and then they lose the attraction because they've taken away from the person the very thing the narcissist was attracted to. They can go for people who are struggling in life so that they can play the rescuer and the hero of how amazing they are and gain all the admiration. They can also go for people who are willing to rescue and help and support other people and say they just need another chance. People who are forgiving of nature because it's easier for them to get away with their behaviour and manipulate. They can go for positive people because they're they're always looking for the the best in the person they're always looking for the best in life they believe they're lucky so the narcissist latches on to that look and that positivity and then takes the look and the positivity away from that person they can go for trauma survivors so that they can use the trauma survivors past against them to help serve the narcissist they can go for independent people so they can take the independence away. They can go for codependent people because it's easier for them to exploit those people because those people are wanting to please the narcissist. They can go for wealthy people so that they can take the wealth away from that person or go along for the ride. They can go for empathetic people because they're going to give the narcissist the sympathetic attention. Whoever it is that a narcissist goes for, that person usually has some form of quality that the narcissist is envious of or the narcissist wants, whether that's a personality trait or a personal belonging. When it comes to a narcissist, they are attracted to supply. Whatever it supply that that individual narcissist is looking for at that given moment in time.